Hey guys, it's Ron. So this is uh, lab 13. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of port security. Uh, so uh, this lab is a little bit more scenario based than the rest. Uh, what you've got in front of you is just a quick snapshot of uh, a guy in his office uh, has a you know one link uh, coming in to his work computer, right? Uh, we're pretty good about installing virus software, you know, inst installing the, the various tools on the network to make sure the m network stays healthy. Uh, but this guy wants to ignore all of that because he wants to hook up his uh, home computer, or not his home computer, but a computer that he brought from home uh, so that he can, uh, I don't know, listen to internet radio. And we block internet radio on our network. So this is you know just a quick uh, lab on how we're gonna in one way stop him from being able to do this so he's got he's got a connection coming into his office and he thinks okay well I can't take my computer offline because I still gotta do some work so I'll bring in this little uh, little switch from home I'll throw it on uh, in between and then hook my computer and you know the one I brought into that and I should be good to go. All right. So, for all intents and purposes, this is his work computer. Uh, we can do an IP config. It looks like uh, 92.168.0.1. So that is the gateway. For some reason, you know, uh, Cisco Packet Tracer is being retarded. But uh, so he can ping his gateway. For all intents and purposes, he's getting out on his network. Um, but what he wants to do is, like I said, get this one in there. So he disconnects. He grabs his little hub. Uh, let's do a crossover cable. He takes a crossover cable and plugs that in to the port. And then he's going to plug his work computer in and the computer he brought from home in. Alright, so now, let's see, on this computer, IP config, it pulled an IP address, ping 192.168.0.1, and he's got internet. Alright, so now he's he's jamming along. The problem is, is uh, he doesn't implement any kind of stringent uh, software stuff he's always at home downloading stuff so he's got viruses and you know he's potentially opening up our network to some issues so we want to make sure that this guy doesn't continue to do this because he's a, a repeat offender I don't know so what we what we do is the port going to his office which is this port right here so this is fast ether zero one we're going to come in on the router, enable config T, uh, interface FA01, and we're going to implement port security. So switch port, port security, and let's do a question mark. So we have this MAC address thing, right? So we can do secure MAC address. So prior to him plugging in, here's what we're going to do. We'll go back to the point of him not being plugged in. All right, so this is just uh, his work PC, and we're going to put MAC address kind of filtering on there. So we'll do MAC question mark. Now you have two options. I can hard code his MAC address in there, or I can put sticky. I'm going to put sticky. And what this is going to do is uh, when his computer sends a packet, with his source MAC address, my port is going to record it and say from now on only that MAC address can come out or can send traffic. 192.168.0.1. And I got to turn port security actually on. I think I skipped that process. Enable. Oops, I went into the wrong switch, didn't I? So we'll do switch port security. So now port security is turned on. We've turned on sticky MAC address. What else do we have here? So we have maximum. 
So this is the number of addresses, uh, MAC addresses that can exist on this port. So I only want one. Uh, if he was running a uh, VoIP phone and had his computer plugged into the VoIP phone, you might set this at two because you know the phone has a MAC address too. So, so we'll do max one. And then we'll do, if we go back up, we can do violation. So this is what I'm going to implement if a violation happens. And these, these are kind of uh, like, uh, let's see, protect is like the lowest level. Then you go up to restrict. And then shutdown is the most stringent. So we'll do a protect. And we'll do a show port security uh, interface FA01. So we have port security enabled. It is secure up. It's in protect mode. It has recorded his MAC address. Okay. So let's see how this functions now. Can he still ping his gateway? If I can type, quite possibly. All right, so he can still ping his gateway, which means his work computer can still uh, function on the network. He's now plugged in his new computer. And if we do the same thing, notice now his new computer cannot function. Okay, so what the port is doing is it, it gets this packet in source from this computer and it says you know what you're not allowed to function on this because my sticky Mac says only this Mac address can function so he's still good to go his, his work computer still functioning and everything's happy happy go lucky The problem is is uh, it's functioning but we don't actually know that he violated our policy again all right, so that's what the next level up does for us. So we'll go into config T, interface FA01, uh, switch port, port security, violation. Now we're going to do restrict. Now, if I do a uh, show port security, now we're in restrict mode. All right, so let's minimize. Make sure his main computer still works. Yep, he's still getting out on the network. But what about the new one? Okay, the new computer still can't get out on the network. And do we have any indication that uh, violation has occurred? We do. We have a counter down here that has gone up, and there are other things that happen in the background that you can you can implement SNMP to kind of trap that, so that it sends us a message to our syslog server or what have it that a violation has occurred. So, so now it's functioning, and we have an indication that he's violated the policy again. So the next layer up, if we go to config t. Instead of uh, restricting, uh, oh, I gotta do interface. Sorry, interface FA01, switch port, port security, violation, and we have shutdown. And this does exactly like it sounds like. All right, so now if I do a uh, show port security, I still have my violations. I'm in secure up, and my violation mode is shut down. So now, if you'll notice the interface just went down and if I do a show port security again it went to secure shutdown okay so uh, quite possibly the new computer tried to pull DHCP or something for, for whatever reason it sent out a packet port security caught it and shut the port down and that port is gonna remain shut down until we come back in and fix it. 
Now there's a, a whole long command that you can execute uh, to get it to come out of that secure mode. Uh, but really, I just I always go in and do a shut no shut because it's a whole lot faster than typing out all that. But that's not going to work until we put everything normal through again. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to delete. going to delete. going to delete. going to bring my main computer back up. Zero one and notice it continues to stay down. So even even if he realized he screwed up, cabled everything out back normal, put his computer back in his bag, the port still stays down, and there's nothing that he can do about it other than power cycle this switch. And hopefully it's in a closet somewhere and he doesn't have access to it. So if we do a uh, Show port security one more time. It's still in uh, secure shutdown. Our violations are recorded as well. So if we do a config t interface fa01, like I said, there's a long command for fixing it. I think just doing a shut, no shut, is a whole lot easier. So now we are secure up. And our user is good to go with work assuming that I haven't fired him so that's the video man that's that's uh, lab 13 that's port security there's other little things that you can do uh, you know as far as aging this and that but realistically the things that I've always implemented is uh, uh, you turn on port security you enable sticky MAC address or port security MAC address sticky and then I'll put it in shutdown you know to me if, if they're violating my network I have no issues kicking them off so let me know what you think of the video hope you uh, learned something out of it and uh, thanks for watching